Well, looky here, we meet once again. What's up, everyone? My name is Jay. Thanks so much for stopping by. Do me a favor and sign the guest book down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Today, I want to talk to you about this anthology, Stories of the Eye. This is from Weird Punk Books. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, Jay, you talk about Weird Punk Books all the time. Uh, this is true. Uh, this is very true. I, I think more people should be checking out what they release, what they have to offer. And uh, I will continue to shout about them until more people do so or until I lose my breath, whichever comes first. But this anthology, something a little different. You know, we've had Sam Richard on paper cuts a couple of different times, uh, two times, I think. And we've always talked about how I think and feel and Sam thinks and feels Weird Punk Books. A little different. They have something a little different to offer. You know, it's not your normal straight-laced horror, but more getting to the final resting place, I guess you could say, through several obscurities and, and using transgressive action. You know, not afraid to redefine the norm. What's the norm these days? Well, whatever it is, Weird Punk Books tends to redefine that. You know, a lot of releases from Weird Punk Books use what I like to call an artful presentation to describe the actions. And with this anthology, Weird Punk Books keeps that style alive, but I think they take several big, huge steps forward. And, and, they, and they change the game a little bit with this one. Uh, it's all about exploring relationships between the artiste and the model. Touching on the uh, creativity, the, the passions, the desires, you know, and at the same time, mixing in several wants and needs. Now, just for a little bit of a, a background, just for a little bit of a foundation, uh, you may know of a story by a French philosopher named Georges Bataille. It's a, it's called Story of the Eye. Um, I, I read this this story, this this little short story. It's about sixty pages, if I, if I remember correctly. I read it in college. So I've read it several several years ago, and I keep wanting to go back and read it again. But Bataille was one of the earlier transgressive writers and he focused a lot on violence and, and a lot on unsettling ideals and and sacrifice and he gave them more of an erotic twist to him you know people actually looked at his work back then as evil and i bring this up not that this anthology from rare punk books is any sort of copy from anything that bataille did but there is a connection there that I, that I saw, you know, both kind of explore relationships in a very unique way, not straying away from anything that's disturbing, any kind of disturbing connections or actions. So this anthology, Stories of the Eye, gives us 13 writers, 13 artists, and they all take their turn in examining the relationships people create, not only with their subjects, but with those directly connected. I felt each story shines somewhat of a spotlight on the uh, connection some of these people are making that are grabbing onto both physically and mentally. Maybe some are grabbing onto these relationships thinking that they're there, but it only exists in their minds. I feel like the horror lies within the relationships we read about. The lost souls or the broken souls who are just grasping onto anyone who may have the slightest hint of interest in their life. You know, we discover the, uh, the different ways people cope with their own issues that they've maybe masked over the years. And now those issues are coming to the surface while they're trying to find themselves. And at times their only one true desire is just to be wanted for something or to be used for something. So with touches of eroticism mixed with emotional barriers and, and physical barriers, this collection gives us 13 unique point of views on those who not only suffer for their art, 
but those who suffer to be part of art. Let's get another shot of that cover there. It's got a little bit of a shine on it. I apologize. Just the lighting in my basement here is kind of bad. Uh, when you first jump into this anthology, the first story, The Inner Edict by Andrew Wilmot, you're going to notice that the wording is very sharp, and very intense. And that should tell you what you're going to experience in the rest of the anthology because every story is like that. You start to see one of those points of view I was talking about earlier that I mentioned earlier. The writer creatively gets into the relationship without you know, coming out and telling you this is what's happening, telling you the actual relationship. You, it, there's an art form to getting to that point, you know. And then the next one from uh, M. Lopez da Silva is called The Thing That Moves the Meat. Uh, I love that title, by the way. You know, that one kind of shows a one-sided, seductive relationship where one party just wants to be noticed and willing to do whatever it takes, even though... They really can't see the vision or can't really see what the artist sees. And, and these, two, I, I mentioned these two because they kind of set the whole tone for the anthology. This is what you're going to get. You know, you have to, I don't want to say you have to read between the lines, but what you see on the surface, there's so much more there. And it kind of makes you work a little bit. I, I Now, I, I usually say when I, when I talk about anthologies and short story collections, you know, I can't read a bunch of them all in one sitting. I read one, I clear my head, I go back and read it. I totally suggest that just so, you know, you don't go into the next story a little bit biased from the story before that because they may seem like they have some of the uh, uh, same things mixed in. Each one is unique. Each one is different. Each one is telling a different story from a different point of view a different style, a different way. So you definitely want a little bit of a break just to you know clear your palate before you go to the next story in this anthology. Now, at times you might notice cries for help. Souls that have been destroyed, yet somehow, somewhere deep inside that soul, that person has just enough strength to, to tell their story, basically. You know, you see how Everyone in their life has failed them. And in and, and some way, you feel the hurt and you experience the scars that these characters have. Each story is very unique and unapologetic while elegantly being delivered without remorse. Stories of the Eye creates a, a new style of art by combining everything we may know about relationships along with everything we don't know about relationships, everything we've ever gotten wrong about relationships, and it doesn't place any sort of limitations. It allows every thought and every sense and every feel to be free, to be on display, to be out there for the world to pass judgment. This is Stories of the Eye from Weird Punk Books. It's uh, edited by Sam Richard and Joe Koch, and they both actually have a story in here. Um, just FYI, <laughs> uh, Sam Richard's story in here is called Jizz Christ. <laughs> and, you know, I know Sam. I wouldn't expect anything less than a story called that. But, you know, the list of uh, writers in this thing, is the list is crazy good. Brennan Vedito, we've talked to him before in Paper Cuts. Haley Piper's in this, Roland Blackburn, uh, just to name a few. You can't go wrong with the writers in this collection, okay? Stories of the Eye from Weird Punk Books. I'll have uh, links down below for you to check it out. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you'll give this one a try because it's uh it's 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 a little different. It's pretty deep. I don't know why I keep putting it down. I apologize. I keep I should keep it up so you can see it the whole time. I'll move it around for you. It's a little different. It's deep. It's uh interesting. Uh, so maybe give it a try and then come back and let me know down below because I would like to know your thoughts on it. Definitely. All right. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Until we meet again. Stay safe. See ya.